Welcome to English Grammar Lessons. Now we'll discuss the topic gerund and infinitive different meaning. Verbs change their meaning when they are followed by a gerund or an infinitive. Some verbs have different meanings when they are followed by a gerund or an infinitive. Forget gerund infinitive looks back in the past and looks into the future he'll never forget spending so much money on his first computer don't forget to spend money on the tickets go on gerund to continue with the same thing infinitive to change the activity Go on reading the text. Go on to read the text. Mean. Gerund. Something has to be done to get a result. Infinitive. Intend to do something. You have forgotten your homework again. That means phoning your mother. I meant to phone your mother, but my mobile didn't work. Regret. Gerund. You did something in the past and you are not happy about it. Infinitive. To tell bad news and you are not happy about it. I regret being late for school. We regret to inform you that the flight has been delayed for another two hours. Remember. Gerund. Infinitive. Gerund. Looks back in the past. Infinitive. Looks into the future. I remember switching out the lights when I went on a holiday. Remember to switch off the lights when you go on holiday. Stop. Gerund to stop with an activity. Infinitive to stop in order to do something. I stopped smoking. I stopped to smoke. Try. Gerund infinitive. Gerund to test something. Infinitive. To do something that is not easy. I tried taking an aspirin, but it didn't help. Try to be quiet when you come home late. The following words are a little more tricky. Like. I like reading books. I like to read books. There is normally no difference in meaning. Use the gerund when like is used in the sense of enjoy. Example. I like riding my bike. Use infinitive when you do something in the sense of a habit. Example, I like to do my homework in the afternoon. I think it's good to do my homework in the afternoon. Mind the following examples. I like watching films. I would like to watch the film. Be afraid. Use a gerund when you worry about something. I'm afraid of having an accident. In other cases, there is no difference in meaning whether we use gerund or infinitive. I'm afraid to go by bike on this road. I'm afraid of going by bike on this road. Need. If we use a gerund after need, then the sentence has a positive meaning. The window needs cleaning. Use to. The form to be used to plus gerund means that the person is familiar with something. He is used to smoking. He still smokes. The form used to plus infinitive means that the person did something in the past. He used to smoke. He does not smoke anymore. Attention! He is used to smoke. The sentence is wrong. Thanks for watching, it was English grammar and gerund and infinitive different meaning.